Read Me, Speak Me, number 134. This week we are reading, Does God Dream of Us? By Ken Downing, at Ken Down. I cast an eye backwards into my past. Old memories play out like a Super 8 movie on my father's old projector. Flickering images of family and friends. So many familiar faces, now long gone. Yet, looking too far back, I am suddenly blinded, slowly feeling my way through dark passages, hearing echoes of memories and empty rooms, unfamiliar voices that seem to mean me harm. Occasionally, in my dreams, I shout out to God, Save me! Pluck me out of this mortal situation! Please take me somewhere familiar and safe. Though, it doesn't often work out that way. Is it a lesson? Or is God too busy to help me? Perhaps God also needs to sleep sometimes. Are we then on our own honor for a while? Like unsupervised children left to run amok, God reawakening to check what we've done. Maybe listening to prayers left in voicemail? Sometimes I wonder what God might dream about. Surely my mind could not fathom God's dreams. I can barely make out my own cryptic night dramas. Yet to dream of creating the universe, galaxies, and life. Trillions of stars and billions of humans to see them. We are fingerprints upon the timeline of history. And these lives we live, each one so significant, each unique and vastly different from another's, indelible and yet impermanent, important but ultimately forgettable, and lost in a river of time. Because... It is only love that it hears us here. Chiseled memories residing within the hearts of those loved ones who will always hold us close. Remembering the laughter and the moments when we affected their lives in positive ways.